Hi, I'm Karen. Welcome to Texas Farmstead Living. On today's video, I'm going to share with you a no egg version for sourdough hamburger buns. Hamburgers are my go-to quick meal for serving to a large crowd. When my five children were growing up, we had hamburgers at least once a week. The hamburger buns we're making today um, are for Sunday lunch after church, and I'm making them. I'm going to freeze them, and I will have a, within minutes, a meal for a lot of people. This recipe is a very easy recipe with little hands-on time. I make this dough before I go to bed at night, somewhere around 9 p.m. In the next morning, I put the dough in the refrigerator and I leave it there until I'm ready to shape my buns and let them rise. So uh, this is, you know, I may have spent 10 minutes on the whole recipe. What you will need to make this recipe, um, you probably already have on hand. But today we're going to use unbleached organic flour. I normally make whole grain uh, baked goods for my family, but today we're just using a regular, uh, widely available flour. Uh, I'm using raw milk, but just use whatever milk you have. Of course, your sourdough starter, sea salt, uh, butter, uh, and you can use whatever sweetener you like. You can use any kind of um, honey, maple syrup, sugar, your choice. I really like to bake my hamburger buns on a stoneware cookie sheet because I shape them and I'll just leave them on here to rise and um, that's my favorite way to bake hamburger buns. But you just use whatever you have, whatever cookie sheet. Okay, let's get started with our recipe. First, we're going to add three cups of organic unbleached flour. I'm going to mix this dough and then in about you know, 30 minutes to 45 minutes somewhere in there I'm going to come and do some stretch and folds until my dough is smooth so and then we're just going to leave it um, I usually start this dough about between you know around 9 p.m. at night and I just cover it and leave it out um, at around, my house is usually around 72 at night. And then the next morning, I just do a few stretch and folds and put the whole bowl in the refrigerator until I'm ready to shape and um, shape the buns and have dinner. So it's just really, really easy. So, okay, we're going to leave this for about 30 minutes and we'll be back. It's been about 30 minutes since we made our dough and we're back to do a, t a few stretch and folds. Always wet your fingers when you're going to do stretch and folds, uh, then the dough won't stick to your hand. We're going to cover our dough and set it aside um, overnight, uh, probably 10 to 12 hours. And at night, my house is around 72 degrees. And as always, sourdough is very affected by time and temperature.
Your friends and family will be impressed with these beautiful sourdough hamburger buns. I hope I've inspired you to make your own hamburger buns because they're really easy and they're so delicious. And for more sourdough recipes, please go to our blog, texasfarmsteadliving.com and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We create new content weekly and I think you would really enjoy um, seeing some farmstead living. From our Texas Hill Country Farmstead to you, have a blessed day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.